What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we officially started the part two of the Damn it, celebration, I guess, or whatever this little monthly celebration is for Dogen. It's not much. It adds a couple of things. Like right now, I know the LR uh, full power freeze right now. That banner is currently out. So if you want to summon for him, or if you want the chance to get him, then by all means go ahead. Gresh, buddy, I know you're going to when it hits global eventually, so... Um, but there are obviously some missions that I want to go ahead and translate for you guys because a lot of people have been messaging me on Twitter today asking, you know, how do you do this? I feel like I've done everything, but what's going on here? So we're going to do a few things because there actually is some cool little banner prizes for all of us, not just if you have stones. Like these are like tickets and everything. So first I'm going to go over the missions real quick so that way everyone can go ahead and get their free stones. Then I'm going to go into what the banners are and how long they'll be along for and what you have to do for them. And then there are missions that uh, connect with those banners, but they only occur on certain days. So I'm going to go through that step by step, okay? So first off, again, let's just go through the news and let's go through the missions and everything. And then we'll get into the ticket stuff, all right? That way everyone knows exactly what you have to do. And then if you ever happen to see someone ask the question, just show them this video or we're going to be like, look, this is what you do, okay? And there'll be timestamps down below. And if I forget, there's always somebody that watches my videos and they like to put the timestamps time stamps themselves. So there we go. So anyway, let's get into the news real quick, okay? So if we go into here, here's the campaign part two, okay? So let's take this quickly take a look at it because, again, there's not much really added to it uh, that we'd want, that we really have to know. So obviously, missions got updated. This is where that whole 57 stones in total from all the missions came from way back when the Namek Goku was originally announced. And we got the celebration at the beginning or the late end of May slash beginning of June. Um, and we all saw 57 stones, but we really didn't get that much just because, well, now there's going to be a part two. So this is why, okay? Obviously, full power Frieza LR banner is around right now. Again, go ahead and summon if you want to. Uh, Frieza, Goku events, all that stuff, nothing really special. This is what a lot of people are looking at right now, and that is the Weekend Gacha, okay? Or they, for some reason, they put it in Katakana, so Weekend Do <laughs> Gacha, not Shumatsu Gacha. Shumatsu is Weekend in Japanese, so... Uh, but anyway, so there's going to be a weekend banner, basically. It will have all the pickups that you, basically you'd expect except for Dokken Fest. And it will include L LRs. I don't know exactly up to what LR it will include. I'm assuming up to the maybe Baby and the Trio? That would be my guess. I'm not really sure, though. Again, we'll know in the banner when we see it in at the time it's recording. 26 hours, essentially, okay? You'll be able to see it and all that stuff, okay? So, anyway, so there'll be a banner, and essentially you can do is you can summon on it between Saturday and Sunday. It will not be around during the weekdays, um, even if we get tickets or something like that on the weekdays. You can only summon it on the weekends, so just keep that in mind right there. So, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I mean, just simply wait for the weekend, and boom, you can summon when you have them, okay? So, again, Doyobi, Nichiyobi, again, that's Saturday and Sunday. In between those days, you can go ahead and summon for it, Okay. So, there will be some login bonuses that we can get during the week, okay, but it's going to be Monday, so it's going to start on Monday the 17th, so it's not going to be this current weekend, it's going to be the following week on Monday, okay? This banner does start this upcoming Saturday, or this, no, this not actually this upcoming Saturday, sorry, it starts out next Saturday, okay? So, that was my mistake right there, I originally thought, I could have sworn I saw that it was starting this upcoming Saturday, so no. 22nd Saturday from midnight we'll be able to get it okay so starting on Monday next week so as of right now it is now the 13th of June so on the 17th of June we'll get a login we'll get new login bonuses we're still going to have the login bonuses that we currently have going on right now with the Namek Saga stuff um but every day we're going to get a what they call a Cho login bonus essentially or a super login weekend bonus for the weekend Doken Fest okay so that's, I'm probably going to assume, just simply includes one ticket every single time you log in. So Monday through Friday, that's going to be, you know, five tickets right there. I'm assuming it also goes on the weekend, which it would make sense to. Um, and it goes all the way until the 29th. So you got about a couple weeks of these login bonuses where we're going to get tickets. Um, so that's pretty cool right there, okay? Then there's going to be some missions as well that we're going to go over here in just a second that you can get even more tickets, okay? So essentially what's going to happen is that starting from the 17th all the way until the 29th, you're going to log in. And through the login bonuses, we're each we're all gonna get a ticket. Okay, there might be a couple days or something like that. Maybe we get two tickets. I doubt it. It's hard to say, but I'm assuming it's just simply gonna be one ticket per day. Okay, so one ticket all the way from the 17th until the 29th. And then there's gonna be some login missions here. Now the login missions are interesting because those login missions are not the login missions. Sorry, the missions for the tickets themselves are only on the weekends, just like the banner. Okay, so basically what you got is you got login bonuses for the tickets. Okay, so that's every single day starting on the 17th. Then you've got the 
uh, banner itself up on the weekend, and then you have the missions to get even more tickets, and those are only on the weekend as well, okay? So, and then obviously we've got just a couple of these free free-to-play cards events coming back, and then this just simply states down here, hey, by the way, part one if you happen to miss any of that stuff, okay? So actually with login bonuses, we will be getting two stones a day, basically, so that's pretty nice, not to mention the farmable stone, which is one day, so it's basically three stones a day, so that's actually pretty nice right there in terms of the amount of stones we will be able to go ahead and get, okay? So let's go to the missions real quick, and then we're going to go over to the missions for those gotcha tickets as well. Uh, but they're on DBZ Space right now because obviously they are not in the game just yet. So, all right. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the part two missions. If you have, if you missed the part one missions, I did those back uh, way back in the beginning when part one started. So go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. I'm assuming most people have done it. It's your typical Z battles, you know, super Doken events, uh, your normal story events, you know, train this person, Doken awaken, Z awaken somebody, all that normal stuff, okay? But here's part two. Now part two, there really aren't that many missions and we only get 10 stones. So it kind of seems like a little bit of low on the low side, but again, we are getting those free tickets for that gotcha. So anyway, so this first one is to um, basically go into an event or just a stage or something like that. Five times clear it without using a support item. Okay, so support item. Don't use a support item for five battles, essentially. It doesn't matter which one you go into. Generally, people will just go into, like, you know, the Roshi training item stage once a day, the orb stage, things like that. As long as you're not doing uh, World Tournament or Do or the Extreme Z battles. Extreme Z battles do not count towards it, so just keep that in mind right there, okay? Then that's what's going to happen, okay? Uh, second one is beat five stages in under two minutes. So Nifun, Khan. Uh, just again beat it in two minutes or less most people again are going to do that on either again the orb stage the daily mr satan stage the you know master or the master roshi stage all that fun stuff again just go through any stage basically beat in two minutes or less and you're good to go in terms of getting that little mission done right there okay again no z battle no world tournament world tournament's not even around but again no z battle okay uh, this one is going through five stages using only super attacks. Now, this one can get a little tricky sometimes if you're trying to go into like a Doken Fest event or something like that because what happens is, is that if you get any amount of additional attacks from whatever reason, passive, ability system, you name it, and it is a normal attack, that counts against you and you won't get that, that entire round has now been forfeited and it doesn't matter what happens, okay? So just keep that in mind that when you're doing this one, make sure you are going to one-shot them and it's only going to be one battle and that's it. And you don't have to worry about getting uh, an additional attack from the ability system or something like that, okay? So just keep that in mind. Five stages, all super attacks. So realistically, you want to do one where you can just one-shot it with a super attack and you're good to go, okay? So just keep that in mind for this one. Next one is no damage. Again, this one most people can get... Uh, in fact, all of us should be able to get, but you just might, you might get that one annoying time where you might be on the last one and it's just like, oh, I went into the orb stage and I got attacked in the first slot because I had no choice to get hit then and my dodge didn't activate or whatever. So this one right here is to simply take no damage on five stages. Again, pretty simple stuff, okay? And then the final one is no continues. That one's very, very easy. Everyone should be able to do that, no problem. Just go through, again, five stages and clear it and again with no continues, okay? And then finally, you complete all those missions and you get your 10 stones. Pretty pretty easy stuff right there. You're all good to go, all right? So we've completed the missions. We talked about what is coming. We mentioned and we talked about the gotcha, the weekend gotcha coming up. I'm going to head over to DBZ Space real quick to show you guys the missions that you'll be able to do on the weekend only, how to get your free tickets and everything, and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we are. We've got the missions up on DBZ Space. As always, shout out to Renzi for always having this awesome information available for us even before they come out. So anyway... Let's take a look what the missions are going to be. Overall, they're pretty easy stuff. Uh, let's go through all that real quick. And then some of the things that usually go one way, but just keep in mind it could go another way just to be on the safe side, okay? So first off, there are three different missions per weekend, okay? So first off, on the 21st and the, to the 23rd, although this, you have to remember that DBC Space usually goes by Pacific Standard Time. So realistically, it is actually just simply the 22nd Japan Time and the 23rd Japan Time. Remember, everything on here is via japan time okay so adjust your clocks accordingly all you have to do basically on the weekend because again these missions are only available on the weekend is beat a stage okay beat one stage you get one ticket and then beat two stages two tickets and three and three stages you get another two tickets so five tickets for the weekend now Generally, in the past, when we've gotten some of these kind of special weekend missions and everything, generally it works where it 
goes on Saturday and then it resets and then it happens again on Sunday. So technically you would get 10 tickets here. However, that doesn't seem to be the case based on just simply this right here saying that, look, this particular mission right here, it is available simply from Saturday and to all the way to the end of Sunday, okay? I could be wrong here by saying that maybe the missions do reset on the Sunday as well, so that way on Saturday, basically complete three stages and you get five tickets, and then on Sunday, complete three stages and get another five tickets. I could be wrong there. Again, sometimes it does work that way. Uh, other times it has not. So because they're gotcha tickets, kind of take it with a grain of salt because again, we don't know if they're gonna be that nice or anything. So again, just keep that in mind. That is potentially how it's gonna go, okay? So basically, to finish everything up, to kind of wrap everything up here, because I know I've said that many, many times already, maybe it's just a teacher in me, but essentially, step one, starting from the 17th next week on Monday, every single day, there'll be a login bonus for us to get some tickets. We don't know how many tickets just yet until obviously we see whatever login bonuses there are. There could be a couple days where it is maybe two tickets. I highly doubt it, but mostly it's just simply gonna be one ticket, okay? Step two, the banner will be available on the 22nd and the 23rd, and then the following weekend on the 29th and the 30th, okay? You cannot summon on the banner during the weekdays. It's only available on the weekend, so just keep that in mind. And as a little side note, no point in saving your tickets after the 30th because you will not be able to use said tickets in a future banner. It is only for this one, okay? Step three, again, only on the weekends is going to be to complete these missions right here that you're currently seeing on the screen. Again, complete one stage, complete two stages, complete three stages, you'll get five tickets. And again, as another little side note, most likely according to this, it just simply means that you only get five tickets for the weekend, but it could reset on Sunday as well, meaning you could get 10 in total if it does. So basically, realistically speaking, expect it to be only five tickets on the weekend, but maybe though nice and it will reset on Sunday as well, okay? We've all seen that sometimes where sometimes these weekend only mission things do reset on Sunday, other times they don't. So it, it is what it is. So just keep that in mind when it comes to that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, let me your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Are you excited to summon on the banner? What are you hoping you pull? Where do you think the LRs will be? Do you think the LRs are gonna go up to the LR baby slash trio? Do you think it's gonna be, it obviously won't be the full power freeze because he's out right now. Do you think it will be another LR? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you like the video. Sub if you have to be new. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, this will definitely be kind of a dead month for Doken, as it usually is. And when I say dead month, I mean like dead half of the month, essentially. This is normal stuff that we see here. Doken Fest stuff in the beginning of the month. Middle of the month is either some kind of mission stuff, slash LR banner, slash whatever happens. And then we wait until V-Jump. V-Jump will be next week. So that is definitely something to look forward to. And then we're gonna be like, oh, okay, so this is what we're getting. We don't know if we're gonna be getting any kind of Tanabata banner stuff because two years ago, we did not get Tanabata related celebration stuff uh, on JP. That was not until last year, and then that's where it brought the infamous, uh, do, you know, the LR Vegito and Gogeta back for the first time on a band that was pretty crap. So we'll have to wait and see, but we'll probably see something along those lines in the V-Jump slash in any kind of data downloads, or maybe uh, Team Joker will release some information and I'll talk with him. So anyway, guys, like I said before, that's gonna be it for the video. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.